um, it's, I'm, I'm a, at my uni, I'm um, part of the Lip Talk Committee, we put on this board and I was meant to introduce the acts and do a couple of poems in between and I um, I tried to do it off by heart and it just didn't work, I forgot it all, it was really embarrassing but I've got my paper with me tonight so there won't be any of that, just called the white line. All I have to offer are my tears. Tears of silence as a silver blade against skin and I apologise. For I cannot twist the knife about your back as the stab body part stopped your heart. And just for a second, so does the one with red hands. And so does mine. But the red hands are washed and my eyes are dried and nothing's achieved from the tears I've cried with the flesh just knives. Another victim does not survive. The flowers laid on fields of concrete are plucked with petals and their stems slip through the cracks. Bubblegum dreams of birth, then dropped from acidic saliva mouths and blackened the former fabric of this world as we now know it. For them, no more blankets, no more cotton wool, just blades to sharpen, triggers to pull, and there's nothing you can do because they're not coming after you, so just cry, cry, cry. Then wipe your eyes, turn off the television, but just watch for the incision when that silver blade makes you pray to be saved as it touches upon your own skin. Um, the next poem is a bit more positive. I find it quite hard to write about. <laughs> I find it quite hard to write like happy poems, but this one's kind of like a celebration of life and it's called Roots. My roots are more than the people in my bloodline. More than a diagram for my family tree, they're in my ink stained name at the bottom of a love letter filled with drawings and poems and random thoughts all scrawl with a desire wanting to share everything I can. My roots are in the colour of the sea, the colour of my hair and the waves that I've swam through, and the whiteness of my cheeks from downward eyes and quivering lips. My roots are in my laugh, my smile and my skin and my seasick stomach and my loaded liver and my beating blood pumping jumping heart. My roots are a love of olives and omelettes and piano and tapas bars give me sweet sangria. Good music and great friends are shine as that shines, not shine as that defines full star signs of red fabric of sex and passion and blood all draped over me like damp new clothes. My roots are gravy over everything, baths and showers full of gravy, rivers and lakes and scuba diving tanks, spinning around in teacups and breaking saucers. My roots are words, 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 reading and poetry and essays, talking and shouting, not getting a word in edgeways. My roots are art, sculptures and paint fighting and CSM and drip, drip, drip and colouring books and dots to dots. My roots are musical notes and little songs, ringing on the trumpets from my granddad's brass band, the tinkle of his father's piano fades with memory and I wish I could play, but all I have is a DVD and a dusty keyboard and amputated arms, my hands running away from ticking clocks whilst my laptop melts, my roots are present, through my bark, to my branches, to my leaves, even when fallen, even when the wind sweeps them away and scatters them among the earth, my roots are everywhere, I am. When I was saying earlier, when I totally forgot that poem, I felt like a bit of a failure and this next poem is kind of about feeling a bit of a failure really. Like sort of re like when I've been reading stuff in my course in English literature and like sometimes you read stuff and you're like, Well that's amazing, how can I compare to that? So it sort of rambles on a bit, but that's the gist of it. It's called seventeenth century. I am so far away from the 17th century that it seems strange to call both poetry. I can't say thee when thee is you, our modern words don't seem to do. And I cannot praise a man in the skies, we've grown to question who and why. We don't fight with kings and queens and knights, no man on horseback with shields and on knights. It's guns and bombs and the unknown, and the BNP say they'll bring the troops home to swap, try and sway our votes to them. And if you look at the European election, I guess you could say it's working now. Nick was on radio one being a dick as a leader of our own Nazi party. They may have a seat, but they won't get me. I'll pull their chair from under their seat, make them fall on their face feet. And I know of this unrequited love, but I don't copulate. I fuck, get fucked up in the head and I do it to myself. I may be a snail, but I'm out of my shell and I'm reading these words over hundreds of years. And the language gives me confusion, brings me tears, and I think I cannot read and I cannot write. So please just set this page alight. Yeah. And when I was picking poems to read, I was trying to think of one that Russell liked. Um, and I think this is it, but um, um, yeah, I don't really read it out often because it, it was one I wrote in a sort of cathartic way and I don't really, I kind of want to steer away from that at the moment, but anyway, it's called Space Station. They have boxes, tape and bubble wrap at the space station, just dial the number for more information if you're no longer content with masturbation. Just press the button to get the fast delivery, I'm new to this, so 
Please, can you forgive me? I can't tell you how I feel. I just read poetry. And you're tangled up in my hair. Your taste still in my mouth. I let you inside and you're not coming out. And when I looked in the mirror, in the morning I felt pretty. I'm not used to that. It's just what you do to me. I promised I would be content, happy with the time we spent. But you didn't honestly believe me. I think you know me better than I know myself. I think you'd agree, so how can I see anybody else? I thought I'd feel different, but I just feel the same. I don't think I care because it was worth the pain. I want to shout and be ashamed at the same time. Shout and reach out of space. I want to stain your body with mine and put a smile on your face. Take me to the space station and cover me in bubble wrap. And when you drop me, I don't break. I just bounce back. Place me in a little box that only you can open. Even when there's no chance it doesn't stop me hoping and tick to do this laugh at me for thinking I am coping. So I've got to have sex with the laugh that I lost. I knew my heart might not like it, but that was a cost. And I want someone to talk to, and I want 